well hello my darlings and welcome back to our channel I am so glad you are here today on Danny's Designs Craftsman's 2018 day 10 I am going to show you how to create a lighted Mrs. Snowman stay tuned So we are going to be using a lot of things today my darlings <laughs> you will need a piece of stiff black foam one of these copper LED lights warm light preferably you will need a pack of these large flat glass gems as well as some marbles white blue and green you will need some ribbon any color any style of your choosing a few greening pins a round piece of styrofoam that is about two inches thick of course you will need your embellishments I'm using a Dollar Tree hat as well as a few Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments but whatever you choose is up to you of course you will need one of these strands of metallic garland as well as a few scrap pieces of this evergreen garland and of course you will need your lanterns of course you will need your handy dandy tools let's get crafting so the first thing you're going to do is of course set your lanterns up and to do this you're simply going to take the mechanism that it comes with and lift that lantern up around that frame and anchor the frame into the two circles that are there once you have done that we are now going to anchor our lantern on top of our styrofoam flat now what we're going to do to get this done is use our greening pins and what you see I'm doing here is taking that greening pin and sticking it through the lantern and over one of the metal posts that is there I am going to repeat repeat excuse me this process three more times in the directions of course east west north and south and when I am finished placing my greening pins in those positions I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to push those greening pins in in addition to make sure that this is going to be sturdy I'm also going to place some hot glue on top of those greening pins before I push them down and and that is going to give us an extra added security of those greening pins not coming out of that styrofoam so here we have our lantern that has been anchored onto our styrofoam and what we are going to do now is place our flat back stones and marbles on top of that styrofoam to give it the illusion that our snowmen are ice skating on the pond now to do this all I'm going to do is place some hot glue on the back of those flat back stones and I am going to place them in two layers once around the larger diameter of that styrofoam and then once I have placed my first layer on my first ring I will go back in again and place those flats in a second level behind the first when I'm finished I'm going to use my smaller flat pieces as well as my marbles to build up and fill in anywhere where I am seeing that white styrofoam so here we have our piece where we have placed all of our marbles and our glass pieces to give it the look that our snowman is standing on ice. Now, if you notice, I can no longer pick this piece up by the lantern itself. Those glass pieces have weighed it down, which is perfect if you are planning to place this outside on your porch or anywhere 
where the wind might blow it down or pets, cats, dogs, if you have them. Now that we have covered the top of that styrofoam round, we are now going to cover the base with our silver garland. And to do this, quite simple, I'm just going to place a stream of that hot glue on the styrofoam and then I'm going to place my garland into the stream of that hot glue and I'm going to hold it in place of course until it sets. Remember we're working with metallic tinsel, we're working with styrofoam and both of those things each in their own right carries heat and as a result this process might take a little longer than you expected. So I'm going to continue this process and then I'll be back. So here we have our piece that we have etched in that silver tinsel and now we are ready to build up. To do this we're going to take our second and subsequently our third lantern of course going smaller in size the higher we get and we are going to build up and place them atop. Now what I'm showing you there is I'm taking that hook that comes with the lantern. If you were to be hanging these on a ceiling, you would use that hook to do so on a piece of string. That hook is what I'm using to attach it to the other lantern and just making sure that I'm getting contact all the way around. And once I have established that both lanterns are touching all the way around, I am going to go in with my hot glue and place a stream of that hot glue on the metal part of the lantern. My darlings, please be careful and not place your hot glue on your paper because that paper will melt away. So once you have placed hot glue on the metal pieces of that lantern only, you are going to hold it in place, apply some pressure, and allow that hot glue to dry around that metal piece. Again, it will take longer than usual. So here we have our snow lady that we have built up, our ice, our tinsel, and now our three lanterns and what we're going to do now is embellish her and start to give her her little bits and pieces that is going to turn her into a lady now because this is a girl I'm going to cinch her waist give her a little embellishment on her waist so that we can tell that this is not Mr. Snowman that this actually is Mrs. Snowman and to do that I'm just taking a length of ever green garland and I am looping both ends one over the other to hold it into place. Once I have done that, I'm going to take a length of ribbon, any ribbon of your choosing, any color to match your color scheme this year. I'm going to measure it out, cut off of course the excess and then I am going to tie this around her neck. Now to do this, because her neck is sitting, of course, flat on the other ball, and this ribbon is, if I remember correctly, either three and a half inches or two, two inches, I am bending that ribbon in half, kind of giving it a look of a scarf, and then I am going to tie her ribbon and then create my bow off camera. Now I'm looking at Mr. Snowman that I created and his scarf, I think I placed it going to the left. So her scarf is going to be leaning on the right. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm trying to make sure. Yes. And so I will fix her scarf off camera. So here she is with her bow that I still have to fix. It's not quite. And I even gave her a pine cone buckle for her belt. But what I'm going to show you now is how to run your lights. Of course, now that I'm thinking about this, I could have done this in hindsight a different way. But how I'm doing this now, I took and I placed two of those flat stones on the end of my LED lights to use it as an anchor and make sure that those lights would go straight down all the way through her bottom, her thorax, if you will, her middle lantern, and her head. 
once I have done that, you can see that I turn her on. I am going to anchor my battery pack on top of her head and then I'm going to come back to show you how I placed her hat. So here we have her and as you can see I have placed my battery pack on top of her head. Now because I did that it has given me an additional layer that my hat will not hide. But to circumvent that problem I'm taking another scrap, another piece of my evergreen garland and I'm giving her hair if you will or an added layer to her hat. But I'm going to glue this piece into place with my hot glue and then I'm going to place my hat on top of that. In order to do this, I'm going to place a circle in the same size as that garland and then I'm going to turn my hat on top of it and simply hold it in place so that the hot glue will melt both with the hat as well as with the evergreen which again has wire in it so it's going to take a time to set into place i am going to hold this for the duration that it takes to set into place i am going to go ahead and add her face give her some red foil buttons I'm going to clean her up, stage both she and Mr. Snowman, and then I'll be back to show you what our finished project looks like. Well, here you have it, my darlings, our Mr. and Mrs. Snowman on ice. Aren't these pieces simply adorable? My darlings, I am so excited about how these turned out. And I can tell you right now that my favorite part of this project will have to be how we use those glass stones and marbles from the dollar store to create the illusion that our snowmen are skating on ice. Not only is the part, that part of our project beautiful, it is also functional because now with the extra weight, this allows us the opportunity to place these two pieces outside on our porches, on our decks, if we so desire. My darlings, I think I would have to say that we have nailed yet another project and we have done so on a budget can you imagine how much you would have to pay for something like this in a retail store lord <laughs> don't even think about it i'm i'm quite sure it'll give you a headache <laughs> but once again my darlings we crafted on a budget and so if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below tell me would you create this and which one would you prefer do you prefer your piece to be lighted or unlighted and if you will be recreating this tell me how are you going to include it in your holiday decor this year i would love to hear from you to my Danny's darlings, I just would like to tell you thank you for all of the love, the comments, the questions, the feedback. Please know that I appreciate each and every one of you, but more so, I thank you for your encouragement. Know that none of it is wasted, my darlings, and your comments just make my heart smile. <laughs> To those of you, however, who are not yet Danny's darlings, humbly take the time to subscribe to our channel today so that you can become a wonderful member of this growing community of DIYers and crafters as we learn from each other on a weekly basis. And when you do subscribe today, also be sure to ring the notification bell to ensure that you are made aware whenever any of our videos are published as well as whenever we go live as a community <laughs> before i sign off from today of danny's designs craftmas day 10 i'm going to leave you with the motto to our channel which is simply this say with me my darlings 
why by when you can diy and so until tomorrow day 11 of danny's designs craft months 2018 i say to you my darlings my loves please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all <laughs> bye now